hello, today I'm here with a new video and if you don't know who I am, my name is Lisa, I'm a cruelty YouTuber, does a lot of makeup content and I always like cruelty free. Um, today I am doing something that I usually don't do but I'm going to do it today and I'm going to talk about some or like do a review on some more base products that I've really been loving the latest. I don't know if I should talk about the palette, maybe I should. Maybe I can just mention the palette first. It feels like I've talked about this palette a lot, but the side-by-side -side palette from Nobla, yeah, if you don't want to hear, you can just fast forward a couple of seconds. But this palette, I, I love this palette. <laughs> this is Nobla's biggest palette. It must be the biggest palette. The other one is 12 shades, but this is 16. And 50. Okay, I think this is their biggest palette. This is their neutral palette. I love this palette. I use it so much outside of YouTube. It's like the only thing I have used outside of YouTube for such a long time. Like a month or so. I do love this palette. I think it's so, so good. I can do many different looks with it. It has a really good black and... I can just go many ways with this and yesterday when I'm filming this I was just putting on a light base and I took this half time in my crease just to have some definition. It looked amazing. I love this. Okay, <laughs> that was all for the side by side. Now if we're going to base products and some of these are old, I have them for a long time, some of these are new, some I have talked a little bit about before. But this is just products that I love right now. I have tested some of them out more and I just want to talk about them. We can start with eyebrows. As you may know, if you have ever seen me without makeup, I do not have much of eyebrows. Or I have a lot of eyebrow hair, but it's really, really light. I usually try to color them. I haven't been that good, but I've been using this one from BH Cosmetics. I know I've talked about this before, but this is the brow duo in, I have it in light blonde. It looks like this. So it has two shades and I think you can see which one I use the most. And I do really like this. I think it's so good. I have had the Anastasia brow duo or I have that one, but I use this, not the Anastasia one. Because I just think this is really, really good and it's really, really cheap. And I can really recommend the, this one if you want eyebrow powders. And also another thing from my eyebrows that I... Some people have raved about this. Some people have thrown hate on this. I decided to try it and I do love it. <laughs> it's the NYX... The brow glue, I have it on today and I, as you can see, I don't like this brow glue thingy, like when you take your brow, brows up to your uh, hairline. I don't like it. I think it looks a little bit weird on me because my eyebrow hairs are so long. I usually trim them. But this one holds my brows in place the whole day. And I got wild brows. And this, I love it. The only thing is, if you take too much, it will look chaotic. And also, this is supposed to be see-through, but it's kind of dirty. But I really do like the little spoolie. And it's so good, you just need to be careful, because if you take too much, it's like glue. And I do not want that look, and I don't like that feel to my brows, but... I do like this one. I'm going to buy this again because this is one of the few things that really holds my brows the whole day. Usually brow products, Jesus, it's so hard. Brow setting things that I've tried, some are really good and hold up for like a work day, but my brows fall down when I'm going to wash my makeup off. But this one, it holds them up. I. I love it. I can recommend this, but be careful. Okay, then on to base. 
I have a new favorite foundation. I have this on and this has been one that I've only used now for a month maybe. I can't remember when I first tried it. But it's the Fenty Beauty East Drop. I have the lightest color one. I think though I could, if they would have, I could go one shade lighter. But it looks good. It doesn't look off in any way. I do really like this. The only thing with this one, I need to have a glowy primer because if I don't, I have tried this without primer and it doesn't look good on my skin and I also feel a little bit dry. But if I use a glowy primer like the High Gloss Primer from NYX or the Milk Luminous Blur Stick, it looks really really good. But I need like a glowy primer. But I love this. It looks like skin. It has a little bit more coverage I would say than like other skin tints. I feel it's more like a light to medium coverage foundation than a skin tint. But I do really really love it. I was a little bit afraid to buy this because I usually buy kind of cheap foundations. But this one I I think it's amazing and I will buy this again sometime. I think it's really really good. I like to take it on with a sponge and it just works really really good with a nice glowy base. So this one, I love it. And I have a dry skin, just so you know, so if you maybe have a little bit more oily skin or more norm neutral. <laughs> normal skin maybe it looks good with you on you without the glowy base but for me that is dry I want a glow base because I think it's too matte but I do really love how my skin looks and how it feels and another under eye combo that I've been loving is the born to glow concealer from NYX I have this in fair and then my LH Cosmetics Infinity Filter Setting Loose Powder in light. These two are a super good combo. I don't like to use this on my face because I think it's deepened down to my foundation or darkened my foundations a little bit. But I really like it under my eye together with this concealer or other concealers. But yeah, this I've had for so long it's actually not that much left. And yeah. This works really good together with the Fenty East Drop. Amazing. And if we go into some sh or oh, we can take a brush. I think I did... No, I did a live on my Instagram and I used this brush for the first time. If you ever have heard me talk about face brushes and especially powder brushes, I like them big. I have... This one has been my favorite for so long. As you see, it's kind of big, kind of pointy, but I found something bigger. I found this. As you see, this is though flat, but it's super, super big. This is from a Swedish brand called Flair. Uh, it's the Jumbo Powder Brush. I love this one. This is my new find love. If you are living in the Nordics or... I think it's only the Nordics that have flair because it's a Swedish brand. See this? If you love big powder brushes. The only thing I have a little bit of problem with this one is that my powder looks like this and it's a little bit hard to get it up but I love this brush. It's an amazing powder brush. And it's the biggest one that I've ever seen. So, other chic products. I have talked about these before, but I do really love them. I have a hard time to put them down. <laughs> it is from Novla, of course. I love the Skin Bronzing in Ombra. I use this as a contour. I am in love with this. It works amazing on my pale skin. It just gives a little bit without being too much and it's hard like to get too much of this it's a really light coverage it's not that pigmented and i just do love it i love it so so much and i think the latest month it's maybe two times i haven't used this that says a lot 
And I also have abused <laughs> or used this blush kind of a lot. It doesn't show that much, which is good. And this is Lola from Nobla. I'm actually thinking about buying the third blush they have. I think they only have three blushes in the series. Truth. I'm thinking about buying this. I have this Lola on today and it has a little bit of shimmer to it but it's not too much and I think on me it looks really good and I do really really love it and I love Nabla so maybe that is that isn't strange but yeah this is really good I have the adults only the dark red one I like this one as well but this Lola it is amazing. I really hope that Nabla will come out with more in the skin glazing formula. Or maybe I don't because then I want to buy them. And also I just I just want to talk about this. I have talked about it so many times. I guess you know which highlighter I love. It is also from Nabla. I love this one. This was so hard to get a hold of though. Because when this came, I think it sold out and it was sold out for so long and then it come back and it sold out, but I I did get it. I can't remember if I bought it from Nabla or from Beauty Bay, but I love this one. Nabla has been one of my favorites when it comes to highlighter. I love their baby glow, but this Ozone has taken its place and I think I think that the other ones I think they have three of these as well and I think the next in line would be too dark for me but this also I don't have it on today but it's just going to one of my videos and I will have it on my face I promise you but this is amazing and I think it works good with both like a full face and you want very very much you can just pack it on or if you just want some some shimmer it's doable so okay the last thing is lips and I maybe should have had one of these on but I don't and I did a swatch video on this and these and that is LH Cosmetics new Majestics and these are amazing I love these it's their new newest lipsticks and they are like full coverage lipstick and I I love them I really love this mellow mauve shade and I also really love dusty pink the pink the, the pink one the pink one who am I and what have you done with Lisa and then I discovered that I really love the sepia one I can leave my video up here where I swatch all of them on my lips but I do really love them and these hold whoop <laughs> these hold up really good I have had them on for like almost a whole day and yes they do disappear when you eat when you drink they are like okay and now Ines is coming do you want to play with the fish or do you want to be with me or do you want to take my makeup sponge? Nobody knows. Back to the lipsticks. I do really love them. They don't hold up when you eat, but when you drink it's okay. And they are like kind of glossy when you put them on, but then they will... Then you have to be with me. <laughs> I will try to have her in my lap as I'm filming the end of this video. They will dry down a little bit, like, or set to the lips maybe, but the glossy, the most glossiness disappears. Do I look a little bit smaller? I don't know. But I have a cat here and you just have to, crazy cat lady, you just have to live with this. Um, it does set a little bit more to your lips and they look really good and they fade good. I know that's maybe like a strange thing to say, but I hope that you get what I mean. So I really do love them and it is becoming one of my favorite lipsticks. So I can really recommend them if you want an opaque lipstick with that are really comfortable but holds up really good. So yeah, you know what? Um, that was actually all for this video. This little review, favorites, recap, I don't know. 
But yeah, I really hope you liked this video and uh, have you tried any of these things and what do you think about them? So yeah, me and Ines, do you want to show yourself? Oh, you are getting so big! Do you, do you see how big she's getting? Do you remember your first appearance, Ines? You were just like 12 weeks old then? I want to show you her, but she's like, she's getting so big. She's one year, 13 months. You are soon. What was that for Yoda? Oop, oop. And if, if you ever had a whole ragdoll, you know, it's, it's a little bit hard. Or than the usual normal cat. But okay. <laughs> crazy cat lady sorry okay uh, i really hope you liked this video and if you have tried any of these please let me know what you have thought about them and if you were thinking about buying some of these products i hope i helped a little bit but yeah that was all for this video i hope i will see you in the next one bye